Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. In this video, I'll be providing a comprehensive review of Marantz's flagship 11.2 channel receiver, the SR8012. Now in this video, we'll be taking a look at its specs, features, an overview of setting up Odyssey, and of course, I'll be sharing my thoughts on the overall experience with it. But before we continue, if you're into home theater audio and video, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. All right, guys, so my first experience with Marantz was about six months ago when I visited a friend of mine who's running a Marantz AV7703 Pre-Pro in his home theater. Now, I was thoroughly impressed with how his system sounded, so I was really eager to get in the SR8012 receiver in for review to see how it performed in my own theater room. Now I've been using the SR8012 over the past few months in my theater and I've been extremely impressed with how well it sounds. In my home theater I have it powering three Klipsch La Scala's, four Klipsch RS62 version 2's, four Klipsch CDT 5800C version 2 in ceiling Atmos speakers as well as dual SVS PB16 Ultra subwoofers. Now with my clips system being so efficient, the 8012 easily pushed my 7.2.4 system to reference levels without distortion. And for my system, I really don't feel that I need an external amplifier. I absolutely love the design of the SR8012. The front face is very minimalistic with only a volume control, a selector knob, and a power switch. A slight push on the bottom panel reveals additional controls such as an HDMI and composite input for easy access without the need to get behind the unit. For someone with less than ideal vision like myself, the front portal window can be a little difficult to read and see as it has limited information available and kind of a small print. For me, this doesn't pose a problem because the unit will remain behind my cabinet and I can have access to everything with just the remote control and see that info on a 150 inch screen. Now that's something that I can easily see. The rear of the unit is laid out extremely well and having the speaker binding post arranged horizontally allows for very easy connection even if you don't use banana plugs. The SR8012 has a ridiculous amount of incredible features that include decoding for all three immersive formats such as Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and Oro 3D for up to a 7.1.4 or a 9.1.2 speaker configuration. The AD12 has 11 channels of amplification at 205 watts per channel. Okay, seriously? We need to talk. Morant says on their website, its symmetrical monolithic amplifier design gives it 11 identical amplifier channels each delivering 205 watts per channel. Now the owner's manual shows that it's rated at 140 watts per channel. Now although the SR8012 does have a massive toroidal transformer and does have a beefy monoblock amplifier construction, Gene Della Sala with Audioholics recently did independent bench testing and stated the SR8012 was able to muster an impressive 96 watts per channel at 1% THD and 86 watts per channel at 0.1% THD with seven channels driven. This should be plenty of power for all but the largest and most demanding home theaters. Now Gene over at Audioholics is currently reviewing the SR8012 as well and Gene has a wealth of knowledge especially in the area of bench testing and doing some actual performance measurements I'll link to Gene's bench test report down in the description below. Now this receiver does have a lot of power, but just know that once you hook up seven, nine, or even 11 speakers connected to the unit, you won't be getting that claimed 140 watts per channel. There's eight HDMI inputs, seven on the rear, one on the front, all of which are HDCP 2.2 compliant, there's three HDMI outputs, which includes a Zone 2, enhanced ARC support, support for HDR and Dolby Vision, streaming music using built-in AirPlay, Bluetooth, internet radio, Spotify Connect, Tidal, 
Deezer, and others. Heos Wireless Multi-Room Streaming, support for Alexa skill, which I'm really excited about since I just ordered an Amazon Echo Dot to begin my smart home theater. Now this gives you the ability to control just some basic functions with your voice through your Alexa enabled devices. Now the 8012 includes Odyssey's Multi-EQ XT32 room correction software to measure up to eight positions in your room. Now Marantz does include a cheap cardboard microphone stand for Odyssey that can also dual purpose as a rocket ship for your children. And for those of you interested in IMAX Enhanced, the SR8012 will support IMAX Enhanced via a firmware update scheduled for sometime around January of 2019. Now setup of the SR8012 is super intuitive with some really great visuals to help you set up your unit which is especially good for those of you that are new to home theater setup but really want a first class receiver. Now I'll be doing a step-by-step -step Odyssey setup in the future video, but for now, let's just walk through a brief overview of the process. Okay, so we're gonna use the Odyssey calibration microphone, setting it up on a tripod. You wanna mount it about ear height. Then we're gonna open up this front door by pushing at the bottom, plug in the microphone right here and turning the unit on. The 8012 will intuitively walk you through setting up each particular speaker and give you some great looking diagrams showing you how to hook up each speaker wire, where you connect those, how to splice them, and even where you're gonna connect each individual speaker on the back. It'll ask you some questions on which speakers you have and you just go through and select whether you have a center channel, where to hook that up, surrounds if you've got those. And whether or not you have height speakers. In my case, I have four speakers. And here you can see the different options you have for Atmos and height speakers. Odyssey will go through each speaker. Odyssey will send out test tones from each speaker to try to calibrate your room and balance out the room response. And here they give a great visual representation of where you want to place the microphone as you're calibrating the system. Odyssey will then play test tones through each individual speaker and use that information to balance out the frequency response throughout your room. Okay, so what are the pros of the Marantz SR8012? The 8012 has incredible build quality and weighs almost 40 pounds. Now this thing is a beast. Now Marantz even added a copper plate chassis on the bottom side of the unit. It also has support for all three immersive audio formats. So those of you that like Dolby Atmos, DTS-X, and Oro 3, you'll have access to all three of those in one unit. Now one of the things I really like about the 8012 is at any moment during a movie, you can easily switch between those immersive formats. Now I found in my testing that the SR8012 sounds incredible for both movies as well as music. Now Marantz has always been praised for its musicality and the SR8012 handles immersive audio beautifully with detailed channel separation for surround sound effects. It's got AirPlay and Spotify built in which that's really convenient for me because I love streaming music here from my phone or from my tablet through my surround sound setup. Now I really like having all the speaker connection on the rear of the unit in a horizontal line. It just makes it really convenient and easy, especially if you don't use banana plugs to be able to gain access to screw those in. Now I found the rear connections on the unit are well thought out and they're very well organized and even color coded for the speaker terminals. Marantz also included some really handy labels that you can use for your speaker cables. Now it's got pre-outs for all 13 channels as well as dual 12 volt triggers should you feel the need to connect a separate power amplifier for additional power. Now one of the other positive features that I found with the 8012 
is in regards to the remote control. The remote control is backlit, so if you push this side button right here, you can see and access all of the buttons in the dark. So as you can see, the 8012 has a lot of pros, but it's gotta have some cons as well, so let's go ahead and go through those. One negative thing that I saw with the SR8012 is that front access panel is plastic, but it doesn't necessarily feel cheap. Now I'd rarely need to open it, so that was really no big deal for me. Now of course one of the negatives for the SR8012 is the $3,000 price tag. Now that isn't necessarily cheap, but it is $500 less than the Anthem MRX 1120 that I just reviewed, and it has a ridiculous amount of features for that price point. Now if you only need 9.2 channels, the 7012 model is currently on sale for $1,200 which is a steal. I'll link to it down in the description below. Okay, so who is the SR8012 for? I believe the 8012 is great for the home theater enthusiast or the audiophile that wants incredible sound without having to spend a ton of money on going to separates. It's also for the person that needs 11.2 channels of processing and power amplification all in a single unit. Now if you want to stream music from your phone without having to purchase a separate AirPlay device like an Airport Express or an Apple TV, this unit has a lot of different streaming features built in. I truly believe this is an incredible unit and it is the unit that I actually am choosing to upgrade to for Youthman's home theater. The 8012 retails for $3,000 but right now Amazon has a deal going on that includes a free Clips SW311 subwoofer which has a 10 inch active as well as dual 10 inch passive drivers and it currently sells on Amazon for a thousand dollars so I think that's a pretty great deal if you're interested in that I'll link to it down in the description below as well well guys that's gonna wrap up this review of the Marantz SR8012 I hope you enjoyed the video if you like it man be sure to share the video and if you found it helpful make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And I'd love to get your thoughts on the SR8012. What do you like about it? What do you think it's lacking? Maybe you're considering another receiver. I'd love to hear about it down in the comments below. Well guys, I hope you have a blessed week and we'll catch you in the next video.